New at six, the move is on to get young kids as young as five years old vaccinated against COVID-19. The rush is in response to an increasing number of children getting COVID, but then experiencing inflammation throughout their bodies. Ursula Perry shows us it can impact kids for months or possibly even years. My head started hurting and my stomach started hurting. He woke up in the middle of the night that night was wheezing. Jackson was suffering from an after effect of COVID in kids called multi-system inflammatory syndrome or MIS-C for short. I see kids with MIS-C and MIS-C, this post-inflammatory reaction to COVID is really just like nothing I've seen in my career before. Pediatric immunologist Megan Cooper says that many of her patients, like Jackson, didn't even know they had COVID until they started feeling the after effects of Miss C, causing inflammation in the heart, lungs, kidneys, brain, skin, eyes, and digestive organs. This is not the flu. This is not um, a bad cold. Symptoms include a high fever, abdominal pain, diarrhea, and vomiting. And all of a sudden, he would go from feeling okay to a super high fever, terrible headache, all within a matter of like five minutes. Jackson spent eight days in the hospital, which included a 10-hour IV infusion, followed by two weeks of steroids. Jackson's feeling better. Dr. Cooper says the best way to avoid Miss C is to avoid getting COVID. Get vaccinated, please. Black and Hispanic children are disproportionately affected by this, but doctors don't know why some kids get it and others don't, or even how long these symptoms will last. Usually a child will develop symptoms two to four weeks after they have COVID or were around someone who did. Ursula Perry, KSAT 12 News.